Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Recall from my last video, I had set out to recreate this look for my wedding and I found a base I thought would work. So this video is going to be about the process of how I made my very unique cake stand. Originally when I found this metal basket, I was so excited and I thought it would be perfect. I started thinking about how exactly I was going to transform it into something resembling our inspiration picture, thinking maybe some spray paint, and weaving some palm fronds through it for a more natural vibe. But I realized after looking at it a while and trying to envision what I wanted, that what I wanted was for it to have more of a round shape. So I started thinking about how I could do that in a way that would give it more structural support, but also bring in more natural elements. What I came up with was wood slats to go over the metal bars of the basket. Making this cake stand was intended to be cheaper than buying one, so I used scrap wood we had already laying around our garage. We cut them first to length and then crossways into slats on the table saw. Then I gave each one a light sanding. If I would have made the slats thinner, they would have been easier, but for my project, this was fine since I was trying to add structural support. I'm going to make bending forms to get them into the shape I want them, but first I need to know how much of a bend I need, so I used a strip of paper cut to the size of my slats to use as a guide. Then I cut out my forms from some plywood. In preparation for bending, I soaked my slats in warm water for a couple of hours. I did three at a time in each form trying to cut down on the number of batches I would have to do. I slowly clamped them into the forms and then left them to sit overnight to dry. When I unveiled my first attempt, I saw that it didn't retain enough of a curve, so I did it again and made sure to hit it with a heat gun to ensure they were fully dry before removing them. This worked a lot better and then I was off and running. I cut a top and bottom out of plywood as well so I would have something to attach the slats to. I sanded them and also routered each with a 45 degree angle. This was my first time using a full size router and it definitely wasn't the cleanest job but the slats will hide most of the edge, so I'm not too concerned about the imperfections here. Okay, so I have everything ready to go. I put the top and bottom in place, making sure that the routed edge was facing the direction I need, and I start attaching the slats. So this is shaping up to look okay, but since I ended up putting more of these slats than I had originally planned, which was like that, I had to make some more. So now we have some more, but I am not happy with this temporary support that's kind of blocky I put in here. So I am going to take this one off since it's broken and that'll give me room to take this out. And I had an old crib that one of my relatives gave me that I cut up to make these spindles and I'm thinking I might make some cake stands and things out of them because there are a lot um, but I think it would be a much better looking support in the middle of my cake stand here so we're gonna go ahead and swap those out what I'm doing here is adding tape to where I want to leave my opening because I'm going to finish putting slats on and I still want to be able to get to the inside to do some finishing work 
Earlier in the video, you saw I was using UV epoxy, but I actually switched over to a hot glue gun and found that it was a much easier method for this project. It was a lot faster, and once the glue was set, it was really solid. It did a much better job not only of holding, but also filling in gaps. Not to mention, it's also a lot cheaper and more readily available. You can see here, I'm using a piece of board on top to make sure that my slats are going on all at the same level so that when I put the cake on it, it sits nice and flat. Before I start staining, I'm putting on this wood conditioner to help the stain go on evenly since this is pine and it's a really soft wood. The stains that I had were too light or too dark, so I ended up mixing them together to get a color I was happy with. I didn't want the cake stand to be glossy, but not super flat either. One of the stains that I mixed in had a polyurethane already in it, so the end result had a slight sheen to it, which I really liked. The end result was just perfect. The plywood I used for the top and bottom was the cheapest there is, and you can see there's some knots here that aren't very attractive. I didn't think they were going to show so much since they're on the inside, otherwise I would have gotten a better quality plywood, but I'm going to hide those by using a piece of Luan, I think it's called, that I had laying around my garage. Once I got the fit I wanted, I stained them to match and then used construction adhesive on the base of the stand as well as the bottom of each half circle I cut out. I figured this would help keep them level since the sides were a bit higher than the middle due to where the slats joined at the edge. I stained the remaining three slats separately, and once everything had dried, I went ahead and put my remaining three slats in place, and then the woodworking part was done. Now I just needed to do some finishing touches to get that look I was going for. So I have this leather cord. It's not really leather, it's faux leather. Suede feels very nice. And we're going to put it all around the basket. <laughs> Continue going around the basket like that. If you're into these videos and enjoy my content, if you aren't already, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy with how this project has turned out. Stay tuned for the next phase, which will be making some faux cakes to go on the bottom layers. Until next time, take care and bye.